голову, со мной объединила, братья в потуху не рухнет. Тот, кто со мной рядом и даже взглядом являем победу. Поможет только выстрел, останови меня, рискуя своей честью, останови меня, во избежание мести, останови меня, рискуя своей жизнью, останови меня, поможет только выстрел, останови меня, рискуя своей честью, останови меня. So let's take a look at the Ukrainian light heavyweight, 24 years of age, 0-5, yet to win about, yet to win in two seasons, to be fair for young Lapin. Lost twice this season and three times uh, last season. This is his second year on WSB. He started off his uh, professional team career with the Istanbuls for the 2012 season. And uh, once again, possibly a baptism of fire here for Lapin when uh, the Ukrainians really do, Richie, need a win in this light heavyweight division. But uh, this young lad's going to have his work cut out against Hrove uh, Sep, boxing for the Astana Arlands. He's 27 years of age, big Croatian, powerful boxer with a 12-5 record. It's going to be tough to lap him to take this one. Yeah, it will, but he'll be desperate, won't he, to, to try and get a win. I mean, he's been beaten five times in this tournament, so he hasn't made... Um, the transition too well, as he from three threes over to five threes. But nevertheless, he'll be desperate to get a victory and to keep it going for the Ukraine. And he's up against um, Seb from the Astana Arlands. This will be a tough contest because this guy at 27 has a record of 12 and five, um, third season as well in this tournament. So he is very, very experienced indeed. So yeah, it's a tough one for Lapin. Yeah, let's not forget, Richie, that Sepp was part of the Paris United team. They were the champions back in 2011. He was a part of that team. He knows exactly what this game is all about. And also his coach, uh, Sergei Koricinski, who we saw there walking down the aisle with him there, um, or, or down the walk, um, has uh, got a lot of experience looking after Russians, the Ukrainians, and the Italia Thunder team last season. And that really has brought the Arlands on with some spectacular coaching from uh, Korinchki. But so uh, once again, it's uh, difficult to bet against the black and gold shorts in this light heavyweight fight with Sepp, uh, the favourite, to not only take the three-point score as uh, Mike Bassey for England is uh, our referee, but uh, a chance for the Kazakh team, the Arlands, to draw clear. Yeah, indeed, and their boxer has a WSB ranking of seven. So, yeah, they will be very confident that um, their fellow is going to win this contest. But you just never know in WSB. Big stage for Lapin, desperate to get a win. Let's see how he boxes. He's got to show a lot of urgency and really want it in there tonight. No holding, no punching on the back of the head. Keep your heads up, keep your punches up. Shake hands, good luck. Out of the red corner comes the Kazakhstan. Out of the blue, the Ukrainian. And, uh, oh, very aggressive coming forwards. You can see that Lapin Clearly the taller with the longer reach of the two. And that has determined the tactic for Sepp Ritchie. He's got to come forwards, keep it in close and tight. Doesn't want to be boxed at range by the Ukrainian. No, well, the thing is, you see, I mean, there's no prizes for guessing what tactics have got to be applied in this contest. Obviously, Lapin, long-range jab, and it's the right uppercut. For me, he's going to be the most important punch for him. Sepp, the way he's coming forward, he's got to move his head, he's trying to get to his man, get inside the long range, the longer range of his opponent, the long arms. But to do that, he's got to avoid punches as he's coming in, Nick. So he must move his head constantly, and he's got to try and avoid with the cross guard, 
that right up a cup. Well, before the start of this match, this was one of the bouts that the Arlands were counting on from set. Well, what Sepp's got to do here, Nick, he's not only worked the body like he's doing now, he's got to target the right hand over the top, and especially as Lappin is going to throw his jab, whip that shot over. But this is good tactics from here. Look, short, short range stuff from Sepp, keeping his opponent on the ropes. Good tactics. And as you quite rightly say, Richie, all the combinations are there. Strong, powerful work from Sepp in the gold shorts downstairs. Great close up shot there of how he mixes it up. Two downstairs to try and open up the guard to put in a combination upstairs. Oh, good stuff from Sepp again, working the body, but lap lapping. He's struggling here, mainly with ring position. His position is awful. He's got to stay in the centre of the ring. He's on the ropes. Back to the ropes. His feet will come square. His target's full on, and Sepp is taking full advantage of that. And of course, it's with him trapped in the corner. It starts to look like a bag workout, doesn't it, for for Sepp? Lapin has no choice but to stand there and try and turn his way out of it, if nothing else. Effective guard and defence work as well from Sepp in the gold shorts. Well, a good opening round for this fella, very positive indeed. His corner will be very, very pleased with him indeed. He applied and sustained the pressure, keeping his man on the ropes, working the body, coming forward. This was great stuff, right hand to the head there, but it was all out pressure and it was the right tactic from Seth. And no doubt he has won the round by every judge there, yeah. Good start for Seth. Now, this is uh, an important part of the match for the uh, Astana Arlands. Of course, Ukraine has their Olympic heavyweight champion coming up in the final bout of the evening. Alexander Usek, undefeated this season, ranked number one of the heavyweights for the 2013 WSB season. So, victory here will guarantee no matter what Kazakhstan the lead overnight going into tomorrow's final five bouts. Oh, listening to the instruction from the ring. I want to see better footwork for me, Lapin. Richie, he's got to be a little bit quicker with those feet and avoid this situation. Yeah, he's, he's got big problems in there, and, and mainly Nick, because he's got no real power behind his punches, so there's no respect from his opponent. Sepp is coming forward, knows that nothing can't hurt him, and so he's determined just to get to his man, and he's doing it very well. There's plenty of punches coming from Lapin, but th there's no real power there. He cannot keep his man at bay because his, his opponent has no respect for him. Real terrier approach, this, isn't it, from Sepp? Stop, 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 stop. Shots to the back of the head, both boxers told by the English referee. You see what, what Lapin has to do here, Nick? He has to stay in the centre of the ring, but he has to move around his opponent. He keeps moving back in straight lines and going back to the, the ropes. The referee's getting a bit... Yeah, he's getting a bit impatient here now. There's a lot of foul play going on here. But you see, the way he's going back, he just keeps going back to the ropes. So he's, he should be maintaining the gap and distance and moving around his opponent and staying in the centre of the ring.
Just checking the gum shield there. And uh, Sepp walking on to the punches of Lapin. Oh, I think there's a cut as well. Right eye of Lapin. I see some blood just trickle oh, down. Yes, you're right, Richie lost spotted. And now Lapin can see it and sense it, feel it. You can hear the local crowd as well. They can clearly see that the odds are now starting to stack against the Ukrainian in the second round. Yeah, the height and reach goes out the window here for Lapin. Sepp is just totally on his opponent here, sustaining the pressure. There's that little cut above the right eye of Lapin, but Sepp. Oh, lovely shot through the middle. Good stuff. Twice as well. Repeated for us. This pit bull approach from uh, Kurovay Sep, this Croatian light heavyweight, really is now starting to take effect on Lapin of the Ukraine. He's got him in the corner once again, and it doesn't look like Lapin can get out. No, just cannot keep his man at bay. Taking the shots downstairs, switch of attack from Sep. Works the body very well, but then he goes upstairs with uppercuts. And overhand right, great round for him. Sepp surely goes too clear. Constant pressure here, sustained attack from Sepp. Look at this for work. Body and head, shots going through the middle. Little shots coming but from Lapin, but they're having no effect whatsoever on his, on his opponent. No real power there, only one man in control that, in that situation, that was Sepp. No real surprise that he's two up. Spectacular left and right uppercuts. Beautiful shot from Sepp there. And that's given him nothing but confidence. The wise words from uh, Korczynski, the coach for the Astana Arlands. And I'm sure he's saying, let's have more of the same, please. One point there, Richie, I thought Lapin may go down. He did well to hold on and come out for the third. Three. But, uh, Sepp has controlled this from the first round and looks to pick it up where he left off in the last. Yep, straight away, Lapin negatively on the outside there, but he's being pushed back straight away. And no real attack coming from Sepp, but here he comes again. So it's very negative boxing from Lapin. He's trying to keep his range, but he's been pushed back far too easily, he should hold his ground a little bit more, stronger jab, move around his opponent and hold the centre of the ring, but it's easier said than done here. Oh, Sepp in the gold shorts, a former European Championship bronze medalist and hasn't he come on since that 2011 tournament? There again, that uppercut so effective. Yeah. Literally puts his head on his opponent's chest and, and brings it through the middle. He's accurate with that, that punch. Very strong indeed on the front foot. And his main priority is to try and get Lapin back onto the ropes because the feet then come square and he's a target. His target is then full onto his opponent. And that's what he does here. Seth, very strong indeed. Good body, head, upstairs, downstairs combination. Starting to hurt now, Lapin. What's impressive also, Nick, about Sepp's work, he just allows himself that the, the, the gap. He finds the space on the inside to land those shots, and that's not easy. A lot of boxers get too close to the opponent, but here he finds that room to work. Very impressive indeed. I like the way he covers up and defends as well. Uppercut, hook. Every combination in the book seems to be thrown at Lapin here. The Ukrainian is doing well to stem this onslaught and still be on his feet, yeah. to be fair. Oh, it's just total one-way traffic now. Great right hand to the body. There's that right uppercut again. Well, Sergei Lapin can take a punch, that's a fact. But he's taking possibly one too many here. 
20 seconds left on the clock in the third round. And this has been dominated, as was the first and second, by Rove Zep. For the Arlands again, the uppercut so effective. So easily through the guard as well, a little too easy. Third round comfortably goes to the Croatian boxer for the Astana Arlands, Sepp. Yeah, totally in control there, Sepp. Probably by far his best round there. That's that last minute or so was absolutely tremendous stuff. Coming forward, look how he switches the attack then. Come on, comes through the middle. Here he is, coming up. And this, uh, there it was there. What a punch that was. And again, but it's the left hook's also doing the damage downstairs. Just keeps coming, doesn't he? Very accurate with that shot through the middle. And Lapin, oh, I, I don't know what the tactic is for him. Whether he just can't move, he can't create the space, but oh, he's just a sitting, sitting duck. Three from three for Sepp. Into the fourth Second round. Out. Round four, Dutton Sherrard. with the straight punch combinations, the one-two. To see maybe a double jab more from Lapin. Certainly hasn't capitalised on having the height advantage or the longer reach. And that's just allowed Sepp in close. Yeah, he's failed in, in several areas here, Lapin. He's allowing his man to get to him, to close the gap down. But look how, look how he's holding his feet, Nick. He's got to move. He's just a seen target. The, OK, if he hasn't got power, if he can't keep his opponent off, then he's got to move and try and make it more difficult for Sepp. But by just standing there, oh, he's just walking onto everything. He needs a bit of that Lomachenko footwork. I mean, he's done well to actually survive it, in my opinion. It's been one-way traffic. He's still there, but again, Sepp. Oh, good stuff. Look how square his feet are, Nick. Look how square um, Latin's feet are on the ropes again. Terrible position to be in there against a shorter man who's coming forward, throwing shots at you. One minute, ten on the clock in this fourth round. Again, he starts to get through the guard. I would really consider in that Ukraine corner and throwing the towel in. I mean, it, their boxer is just uh, is a human punch bag here. He's getting caught left, right and centre. Oh, another big shot. And I wouldn't allow him to take much more of this, to be quite honest. As you quite rightly say, Richie. You'd think that he'd try and work a little bit more with his feet, create better angles, keep away rather than just stand there and slug it out punch for punch because in that tactical play or that scenario, you can clearly see that Sepp is the man with the more powerful punch and the stronger repertoire. Well, Lappin has just made life very, very easy for Sepp. Look at this again, but it's just a, sta a standing static target there for Sepp to hit and uh, he's doing it. So often we talk about the footwork being the key ingredient to success in boxing. We've seen so little footwork from Lapin. And Especially that... when you've got the height and reach that this fella's got, Nick. I can't believe how he's just standing there in front of Seth. Unbelievable. Well, incredibly brave, no question of that. He can take the biggest and the hardest punch that Seth has to give him. But of course, Lapin loses another round with a one to go, surely. The fourth, as the first to third, has gone to the Arlen boxer. Terrific stuff again, left up to the body, then that left up a good through the middle. Lapin, feet square, target full onto his opponent, cannot keep his man at bay. Life very good for Sepp in this contest, having it all his own way, just one-way traffic, and again, every judge will have gone for him, no doubt.
Having said that, Nick, if they pull him out, that means there'd be more points for... Second foul. That's probably why they're keeping him in there. But to see your boxer take shots like that, it's not good, is it? Round five, Bessie Shadow. And it looks like uh, we're going to see much of the same, or certainly no change in tactic from Sergei Lapin, the Ukrainian, 24 years of age in the blue shorts, hasn't won this season. Five defeats in his uh, WSB career to date, and uh, it looks like it's going to be six here. He really has taken a lot of punches. Still on his feet, he's still there. And every now and again we see glimpses of his ability to be able to box. Every now and again he gets through with a combination. But with a boxer with such a height and reach advantage, we'd just love to see more movement. Once again, the uppercut as his head goes down, it's a sitting target. Yeah, and the referee's not happy with his head there. I think the referee was saying no more of that. I think he was leaning too close with the head. Maybe trying to get a clash of heads and a cut on his opponent. But again, Sepp coming forward. How Lappin is taking this punishment. It's incredible, really. He must be a very, very tough guy indeed. But he hasn't been able to keep his man at bay. He hasn't got the power to keep his man at bay. That's been his main problem here. One twenty-five in the fifth and final round. All four rounds prior to this have gone to the boxer in the gold shorts, Krove uh, Sep. From there's, a, there's an old saying, Nick, in boxing: you never box to your opponent's strength. And this is a clear example of Lapin boxing to his opponent's strength. He stayed, held, held his feet, and made life very easy for Sep. And look at him now again, totally in control because the, the target is so easy to hit. There again, left hook, right on target. Again, a hard-hitting combination, 20 seconds left on the clock. Lapin shows that he's still prepared to slug it out, but has nothing like the speed, nothing like the power of the Croatian boxing for the Astana Arlands in gold. There goes the bell. All of the experience. A three-year campaigner on the WSP and a unanimous victory for Prove Sep of the Astana Arlands. <laughs> well, he's very happy. And I can't really remember in WSB such a one-sided bout, to be quite honest. They've normally been very competitive indeed and close, a lot of them. But here, this was just one-way traffic from, from round one. And Sep found the target time and again with that right up got on the inside there. Total one-way uh, traffic and the pressure was fantastic from the Kazakh boxer. Judge 1, 50-45. Judge 2, 50-45. Judge 3, 50-45. The winner is Red Corner, Hrvoya Powerful display of professional boxing from Hrvoya Sep for the Astana Arlands, who now uh, draw clear of their opponents in this, the first night of two. At the finals for the World Series of Boxing 2013. He's enjoyed every minute of that. I'm not so sure 